King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and with the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and bow down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you have been greatly magnified. You are clothed in confession and majesty. You put on light as a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a curtain and cover its lofts with water. You lay the clouds to stand on. You walk upon the wings of the wind. You make your angel spirits and your ministers a flame of fire. You establish the earth on its assurance. It shall never be moved. The deep covers it like a garment. The waters will stand on the mountains. At your rebuke they will flee. At the sound of your thunder they will be afraid. Mountains rise and valleys sink to the place which you appointed for them. You set a boundary that neither shall cross. They will not return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. The waters will run between the mountains. They will give drink to all the beasts in the field. The wild asses will quench their thirst. The birds of the air will have their habitation beside them. Gushing forth from the rocks, they will give voice. You water the mountains from your lofts. The earth will be satisfied by the fruits of your works. You cause grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of man to produce bread from the earth. And wine gladdens the heart of man to make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengthens the heart of man. The trees of the plain will be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. 
There will the sparrows make their nests, the herons dwelling as chief among them. The high mountains are for the deer, the rock is a refuge for the hares. You made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting. You ordered darkness and it became night. Therein will all the beasts of the forest creep forth. Young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. And man goes out to do his work and to labor until the evening. How magnified are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you made them all. The earth is replete with your creations. The sea, how great and spacious it is. Therein are innumerable creeping things, animals both small and great. There do ships traverse. There is that dragon you made to play therein. All look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they will gather. When you open your hand, all things will be filled with goodness. When you turn your face away, they will be troubled. You will take away their <coughs> spirits, and they will cease and return to their dust. You will send forth your spirit, and they will be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord will rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will chant to my God for as long as I have being. May my discourse be pleasant to him, and I shall rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, the, no the sun knows its setting. You ordered darkness, and it became night. How magnified are your works, O Lord! You made them all in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the good estate of holy church and the God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 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 That you will deliver his servants, the president, government, armed forces, and all peaceful inhabitants of Ukraine from all affliction, wrath, distress, and from all enemies through the prayers of the Theotokos. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, us, and mercy us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Holy to my most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another in all our life unto Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. Lord to you, O Lord, to glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Amen. Blessed is the man that has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, and the way of the ungodly will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are all that put their trust in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
Salvation is from the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both alleluia, 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 both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us save us have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Always remember to most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious it is here, so of us and of our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the majesty, yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages. Of Amen. Lord, I have cried unto you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I have cried unto you, hear me, attend the voice of my supplication. When I cry unto you, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and a door of enclosure about my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words, to make excuses in sins, with those who work iniquity, and I will not associate with the choicest of them. Let the righteous man chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. For even my prayers against their good pleasure their judges have been swallowed up by the rock. They shall hear my words, for they are sweet. As a clod of earth is broken on the ground, so their bones are scattered by the side of Hades. For to you, O Lord, are my eyes. I have hoped in you. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of those who work iniquity. The sinners fall into their own nets, I am apart from them until I pass by. With my voice to the Lord have I cried. With my voice to the Lord have I made my supplication. I shall pour out before him my supplication. My affliction before <clears throat> him shall I declare. As my spirit was departing from within me, you knew my paths. On this way on which I was walking, they hid a snare for me. I looked to my right and beheld, and there was no one that knew me. There is no escape for me, and no one cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, I said, You are my hope, you are my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I have been greatly humbled. Deliver me from those who persecute me, for they have become stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise your name. By your precious cross, O Christ, you have shamed the devil, and by your resurrection you have blunted the goad of sin, and you have saved us from the gates of death. We glorify you, on, only begotten. The righteous shall wait for me until you recompense me. He who gives the resurrection to the human race was led as a sheep to the slaughter. All the princes of hell trembled before him, and the gates of pain were lifted up. For Christ the King of glory had come in, saying to those in bondage, Come forth, and to those in darkness, reveal yourselves. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. O great marvel, having suffered in the flesh through love for mankind, the creator of things invisible, the immortal has risen. Come, families of nations, let us worship him, for... Delivered, for delivered from error by his compassion, we have learned to him one God in three persons. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. We offer you our evening worship, O light that knows no evening. 
who at the end of the ages, as in a glass, shone through the flesh on the world, and ascended as far as hell, abolished the darkness there, and showed the nations the light of the resurrection. O Lord, giver of light, glory to you. If you should mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with you is forgiveness. Let us glorify Christ, the author of our salvation, for by his rising from the dead, the world has been saved from error, the choir of angels rejoices, the error of demons flees, fallen Adam arises, the devil has been overthrown. Because of your name I have waited for you, O Lord, my soul has waited for your word, my soul has hoped in the Lord. O Lord, our Savior, who despoiled hell and trampled on death, who enlightened the world by the precious cross, have mercy upon us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. Throughout all the earth hath your proclamation of salvation gone forth, O glorious apostles of the Lord, illuminating the ends of the whole earth with radiance of grace and dispelling the gloom of deception. Wherefore, make supplication that he grant unto our souls peace and great mercy. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. The most godly Stachys, the preacher and apostle of Christ, and the wondrous Apelius, Aristobulus and Urban, Ampelus and the divine Narcissus, who preached the most holy trinity, have enlightened the nations and delivered from bondage all who bless them with faith. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. By the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, thou wast shown to be a divine habitation, O glorious Ep Epimachus, and receiving from him the ability to accomplish healings, thou dost richly impart health to the sick, O who ever cry out, O Jesus, bestower of life, thou art the gladness, the glory, and boast of thy martyrs. For his mercy has prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. With boldness didst thou preach the truth, O glorious one, as a most lawful warrior of Christ, unafraid of the bestial rage of him who judged thee. By thy divine in, divinely inspired words thou didst put to shame him who commanded thee to worship gods who do not exist, O athlete, and didst preach unto all our God who reigneth over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Red Sea was once depicted an image of the bride who knew not wedlock. There Moses the parter of the water, here Gabriel the servant of the marvel. Then Israel marched dry shod through the deep, but now the virgin has given birth to Christ without seed. The sea after Israel's passage remained untrodden. The blameless one after bearing Emmanuel remained incorrupt. O God, who exists and pre-exists and appeared as man, have mercy on us. Let our prayer rise as incense before you incline not our hearts unto words or thoughts of evil, but deliver us from all. Seek after our souls for our eyes are unto you, O Lord, O Lord, and in you we have put our hope. Put us not to shame, O our God, for unto you are dwells glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are the entrance of your saints, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand arise. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly, Holy, blessed Father, O Jesus Christ, having arrived at the setting of the sun, having seen the evening light, we praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God. It is worthy to praise you at all times with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life, 
wherefore the world glorifies you. Let us be attentive, peace be unto all. <clears throat> Wisdom, the procurer in the sixth hole. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. The Lord has put on power and girded himself. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. For he has established the universe which shall not be shaken. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. For he has your house, Lord, for length of day. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with his majesty. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for his Metropolitan Aledion, for our brethren the pre for our brethren in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our God loving and God protected country, Canada's government, armed forces, and for all our pious people that the Lord God will help and aid them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Orthodox Patriarchs, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all Orthodox Christians, be part of this life before us, who here and everywhere lie safe in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray to the Lord our God that he will hearken unto the voice of the prayer of us sinners and protect all Ukrainian people in difficult trials and time of war for their liberation and have mercy upon his servants, all Ukrainian armed forces, personnel <coughs> defending Ukraine from occupation and that our all merciful Lord will shield them from fatal wounds from all spiritual and physical illness, and that he will protect them from all affliction, wrath, anger, and sorrow in time of war, and that he will grant them to return from war in good health, uninjured, and in blessedness through the prayers of the Holy Hierarch. O Holy Archangel Michael, merciful Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Look down from your dwelling place on high, O Lord, our God. And as the good and merciful one, easy anguish, misfortune, distress, and sorrow over the Ukrainian people in time of war, especially refugees, children, the infirm, the aged, manifest your might come and protect all that protect them all, <clears throat> that the enemy would not rejoice at the sight of our death. We pray you, O merciful Lord, through the prayers of Our Lady the Theotokos, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord Jesus, the merciful one, our Savior, look upon our people in Ukraine in time of war, whose sons and daughters, all refugees, deprived of human shelter, wander about the earth, fleeing from the horrors of war and death. Manifest your mercy before us sinners and grant shelter to all Ukrainian refugees and, in bless, and bless all those who offer them shelter and aid to the prayers of the Holy Hierarch Nicholas, the wonder worker, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation, the forgiveness, remission of sins, 
for the service of God, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings into good works in this holy, venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful, God, and lover of mankind, until we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Of. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord our God, you are the only God in heaven and on earth. You have dominion over all kingdoms and nations. Strength and power are in your hands, and no one can resist you. You rest upon the cherubim and the seraphim and constantly praise you. So what can man do against you? Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Behold with the, your eyes the evil intentions of our enemies. We believe that you alone are merciful and strong and that you can deliver us from their hands. You saved your servant David from the hand of the strong, showing once again that your strength is in the weak and accepted the sorrow of Hezekiah's heart, granting him more years of life. Give peace and tranquility to our God-loving people and recompense us not for our sins. For we will remember the words of our Savior, your only begotten Son, and our Lord Jesus Christ. All who take the sword shall perish by the sword. Therefore we do not rely on our own wep on weapons, but only on you, knowing your power. You work miracles from you, comes victory and defeat. Grant our Ukraine a deep and inviolable peace, protecting her from war and invasion of enemies, and giving her all that is good for the benefit of soul and body. For you are the God of mercy and the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and we offer unto you glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of the age of... Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, give me understanding of your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me by your statutes. O Lord, your mercy endures forever, despise not the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Oh, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this evening may be perfect, holy, peace, one sinless, let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Let the angel of peace, the faithful God, and guardian of our soul, the body, let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Forgiveness, remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All that is good and beneficial for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask to the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Our Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, good defense before the judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. All in your remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, through your soul, cooked and ever virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you were a good God and lover of mankind, and until we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages. Of Asia. Amen. May us in peace be unto all and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord God, you bowed the heavens and you came down for the salvation of the human race. Look upon your servants and your inheritance. For you, the awesome judge, and love mankind. Have your servants bowed their heads and bent their necks, and waiting not help from men, but entreating your mercy and looking calmly for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during, the, both during this present evening and approaching night, from every enemy, from all of our sorrows, from doubt, from vain thoughts, and evil imaginings. May the majesty of your kingdom be blessed and glorified to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. 
Amen. With sounds of song we magnify you, O Christ, the Savior incarnate, yet not parted from heaven, you, for you accepted cross and death for the sake of our race, for you are the Lord who loves mankind. When you had despoiled the gates of Hades, you rose on the third day and saved our souls. The Lord is King, he hath clothed himself in majesty. When your side was pierced, O giver of life, you poured out streams of forgiveness of life and salvation for all. You accepted death in the flesh, so giving us immortality. By dwelling in a grave, you freed us, raising us from yourself as God in glory. And so we cry out to you, O Lord, lover of mankind, glory to you. For he has established the universe, which shall not be shaken. Strange your crucifixion and your descent into Hades, O lover of mankind. For having despoiled it and raised it with yourself as God, in glory those who were prisoners, you opened paradise and bade it welcome them. Welcome them. So give us to who glorify your rising on the third day, forgiveness of sins, granting us to be inhabitants of paradise, as you alone are compassionate. Holiness befits your house, Lord, for length of days. <clears throat> o lover of mankind, for our sake, accepted the passion in the flesh, and rose from the dead on the third day, and healed the passions of our flesh. Raise us from grievous offenses, and save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. You are the temple and gate, palace and throne of the King, all honored virgin. Through you, Christ the Lord, my Redeemer, appeared to those who sat in darkness, for he is the Son of Justice who wishes to enlighten those whom he fashioned in his own image with his own hand. Therefore, all praised one, as you have a mother's boldness towards him, intercede unceasingly that our souls be saved. Now let your servant depart in peace, O Master, according to your word. For mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of age. Amen. Let us the faithful praise and worship the word, co-eternal with the Father and the Spirit, born for our salvation of the Virgin. For in his good will he was lifted up on the cross in the flesh to suffer death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Holy Apostles, entreat the merciful God that he grant unto our souls forgiveness of sins. Now and ever and through the ages of ages. Amen. We sing your praises, O Virgin Theotokos, who intercedes for the salvation of our race, for your Son, our God, by taking flesh from you and accepting suffering on the cross, 
has delivered us from corruption, for he is the lover of mankind. With all, give the blessing. Blessed is the one whose Christ our God always know and ever and under the ages of age of. Amen. Make firm, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and all Orthodox Christians under the ages of ages. Most holy Theotokoseva. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Who, who without corruption you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, our own truly dead, have mercy on us and save us from the intercessions of his most dear mother, of our Father among the saints, of the holy glories and upraised apostles, Peter and Paul, whom this temple is named, and of all the holy apostles, of the apostles of the seventy, Stachyas, Amphilius, Urban, Garcias, Apelius, and Aristobulos, and the martyr you think make up of Silium, who suffered at Alexandria, the venerable Spiridon and Nicodemus, the prosperous bakers of the near Kievan Gate, Saint Anatolia, recluse of the Kievan Gate, Saint Mora of Constantinople, <coughs> and all the ancestors of God you came in honor of all the saints, for his majesty is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our Metropolitan is Eminence, Ilarion, Archbishop of Winnipeg, and the Central Eparchy, Metropolitan of Canada, the parishioners of this holy temple, and all Orthodox Christians, protect, O Lord, for many years. Slava, Jesus Christ, glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Today on this the eve of the 13th of November, we commemorate the holy apostles Stachas, Amphilias, Urban, Narcias, Apelius, and Astru Ast Aristobulus. The, they were apostles of the 70. Stachias was an assistant to the to St. Andrew the first called. St. Andrew appointed him Bishop of Byzantium. He established the church in Erigipolis and governed his flock faithfully and zealously. After 16 years as bishop, he entered peacefully into rest in the Lord. Ampelius and Urban worked likewise with St. Andrew, and were ordained bishops by him. Ampelius in Lydia of Odessopolis in Judea, and Urban in Macedonia. Both died as martyrs for Christ the Lord. Narcias was appointed bishop of Athens by the apostle Philip. St. Apelius was bishop of Heracula in Trica. Aristobulus, brother of the, of the apostle Barnabas, preached the Christian faith in Britain and reposed peacefully there. So as we have been discussing the last couple weeks in our Orthodoxy 101, going through the centuries, these saints, these are grouped amongst the 70, so they would be those that were in the first century spreading the word of God. And we often know of, of St. Andrew going to, uh, to the British Isles and, and around England, and that's because we have the, the links, the significance in the flags. But we also have this 
uh, Aristobulus, who was the brother of the holy apostle Barnabas, um, who was in Britain, uh, bringing Christianity there. So, in that first century of, the, of our church, we hear all of these saints. You know, we, we, we don't all know who they are, but as we read the accounts of these saints, we begin to understand how Christianity wasn't, definitely was not isolated to a small group of people in the Middle East, or for that matter, in Judea and Israel. But it grew, and it spread. And if we find those who ventured further east, like the Holy Apostle Thomas, we would hear of the works in what would be modern-day Mongolia and China and India and the Philippines, that Christianity in that first century, you know, probably without a, in some degree, maybe making it here to North America, over that main connected lands of Africa, Asia, Europe, the church spread. It was not isolated. And the word of God was, was prominent everywhere. So I encourage those who might be watching us virtually today, those who are here today, to go and be like the apostle, like the seven, like the seventy, and those beyond, and share the word of God. Be an example of how a Christian is to act and live not merely just doing uh, the Sunday activities. I remind you, dear brothers and sisters, that tomorrow we will have the Divine Liturgy beginning at 10 a.m. Uh, at the conclusion of the Divine Liturgy, we'll, we will serve a Memorial Litia. As Remembrance Day was yesterday, we will serve a Memorial Litia here in our community in Kelowna for all of our uh, fallen members of the armed forces and those who have done the work of defending the innocent in various uh, ways through um, through uh, the armed forces around in Canada and of course around the world um, as well uh, as as a, an aside for those who might be watching and planning ahead uh, for tomorrow um, or maybe missed the, the e emails this week, um, we have uh, adjusted our fellowship, uh, how we are doing it. We are taking a break from uh, uh, potlucks, and our kitchen uh, crew is going to be providing a fellowship lunch uh, on our Sunday liturgies moving forward. So please, all are, in, are still invited and uh, to join us for our fellowship lunches following the Divine Liturgy. With that, I invite you all up for the veneration of the icon and look forward to our continued prayers tomorrow. Christ is in our midst. <coughs>